it has been some time. The years have not been kind to us both, it seems. Is it as you expected? Yes, and that is why this place is empty. Your actions have crippled the order, perhaps destroyed them. No. Perhaps it is difficult to say. For every Jedi slain, for every Sith slain, another rises. But the Order is wounded, yes. Oh yes, your hate has destroyed them. You should be proud of the blood you have spilled, the lives you have ended. But before enjoying this victory, there is something we must discuss first. I have done what I can to keep you from the Jedi and the Sith, but a critical moment approaches, and what you have done is not enough. Master Vrook, despite his faults, was right to come here. I had thought he might have recognized Dantooine for what it was, what had been done there. You are tied to places such as these, you know. Yes, but Master Vrook was unwilling to see what other masters may have seen. That the echo of Dantooine he felt was inside you as well. They admitted it as much in the council chamber after your trial, though they did not understand what it meant at first. They assumed it was a threat that they felt. From one perspective, they were correct. As much as you can form connections to others, such connections exist on the galactic scale as well. It is possible to hurt or sever those connections, to create places in the Force where it is difficult to center oneself, but that is the crudest form of manipulation. It is possible to affect those connections in other ways, by the slightest action, a seemingly minor choice, a small cruelty. The stronger your connection to life, to the Force, the stronger these echoes can be made, and the stronger they are felt. When heard, Force sensitives instinctively seek out the source, are drawn to it to try and form a connection. And when the connection is formed, both become stronger and the influence between them grows. Your companions, many are touched by the force on some level. And in many ways, they serve out of compulsion and because your connection influences them strongly. It was much like it was for you in the Mandalorian Wars, with many Jedi under your command. But this connection has other consequences. When the Source is wounded, the one on which others draw strength, then they are wounded as well. What one feels, the other feels. And when others die, the scream travels back to the Source. If they occur at the same time, or at the right time, these screams will build upon each other until it is the only sound you can hear. And the deaths of many will cause the screams to build until their pain becomes yours, and you die as well. And that is why during the Mandalorian Wars, you lost your connection to the Force. It was that final battle, the deaths of so many Jedi, that caused you to lose your connection. It caused the wound that you feel now. It caused pain in the Force, an emptiness, a wound that has yet to heal. But it does not end there. If it did, then perhaps the threat that we face would be more manageable. 
This pain I describe, the echo of these acts, is true of planets as well. Tremendous loss of life on a planetary scale can also cast echoes, create a scream, a wound in the force that can travel across the galaxy. It can be felt by force sensitives, and it can influence them whether they realize it or not. If enough of these echoes are allowed to build in the force uncontrolled, the consequences could be disastrous. The connections of all life would be affected. As I have said, screams and their echoes can overlap, build in strength, and if timed correctly, they will build on each other. The scream will grow, and anything that can hear this scream shall be deafened or killed. With difficulty, and controlling it, well, I do not believe such a thing is possible once it has begun. But in order for this to work, all of them must be timed correctly, must be carefully orchestrated and controlled, from the greatest to the smallest of echoes, even the ones that come from a lone exile echoing across the galaxy. And when that exile forms connections to others as you do, the danger becomes apparent, the echo continues to grow, to travel, Yes, he is correct. You form such bonds easily. The why of it is not important now. All that is important is that you understand that your actions affect others strongly. Anyone can do such things, since life is connected by the Force. Sometimes the connections are faint, but in your case, they are very strong. You instinctively know how to manipulate such connections, to influence others. You have seen it mirrored in those who travel with you. You give others strength to act, but it is also possible to draw upon the strength of others to increase your own. It is similar to drawing upon the Force, as Jedi do. But when it is touched by the power of the dark side, it is something else, something deadly. These Sith we face, they have learned how to do this. It is a technique that has been lost for some time, not seen in the day since the ancient Sith. They can use it to consume other Force sensitives, and at the highest pinnacle of power, use it to consume anything that lives. The Blind Seer. Her master has harnessed this technique, and he is rapidly approaching the height of its power. I fear he may even rival some of the ancient Sith. He is already more of a Force than a living thing, a hole in the Force that threatens to draw everything into it. And the teaching must die with him, or else all life will be placed in jeopardy. The destruction of the Order, the Masters, it was not an end in itself. I did not expect them to still live. Their presence was knowledge I did not possess. But now this has been corrected, and now the sides of this conflict are as I had thought them to be. There are no more unknowns. But this moment is all that really matters. It was never my wish that you find the Masters, only find yourself although I did not expect them to still live. I had hoped you would learn something from the Jedi Masters as they fell before you. Not just of battle, but of yourself and the Force. I must know if killing them, if revenge brought you any measure of satisfaction, if seeing them dead has settled the disquiet within you. That is your wish, not mine. There is strength in defeating an enemy, not slaying them. I merely wished them to see that they and their teachings were wrong, that one could not truly understand the Force simply by adhering to the Jedi Code. All I have ever trained have been failures to them. Students who went to fight the Mandalorians, who fell to the dark side, who abandoned their training. To see one that had the strength to best them, that is a moment I will not forget. Yet, it has not been as satisfying as I had hoped. To best one in battle is one thing. To defeat them without striking a blow, that was my hope. Regardless, it had to be done. To have such powerful Jedi still live, still be felt in the Force, even on such worlds as they had chosen, was a threat that had to be ended. 
let us return to my question. If by killing these Jedi, if you achieved any measure of peace, It was as I thought. You have failed me, completely and utterly. I have taught you to hear the Force again, shown you the contrast, and yet still you do not understand. This is what you have wrought. Countless murderers, slayers, assassins, born of war that has, as always, taught the wrong lesson. You showed them life without the Force. And instead of showing them truth, power, all you showed them was how the galaxy may die. You are responsible for all of this. Even now, events spiral towards destruction, and there is nothing that can be done because you refuse to listen, to understand. You have seen the effects you have on those close to you, heard the echoes scream across dead planets, and watched as your strength has grown. Yet it is for nothing. To have the Jedi Masters brought low by such a failure, there is no victory in that. You have not heard a thing I have taught, and for all I have said, you have never learned to listen. There. Do you feel that exile? It cuts through your defenses, as unprepared for such an attack as you are. Let that pain be a lesson and a reminder of what you have forgotten. You were my last hope, the only one who could change what is to come, and now you have left me nothing. I shall teach you no longer. Our bond remains, but that is all. This place will hide you from the Sith for a time, enough to do what must be done. Stay here and die, apprentice among the wreckage of all that remains of the Jedi. It is a fitting grave until the Sith come to end you, to end everything. You. Oh, yes. At last, you see. I am one of the Sith, it is true. I must answer for my actions, and it is my wish that only Atris hear my answers. You have taught them to bond with others, and then feed on others through that bond. What you have brought is the death of all who can feel the Force. It is your gift to the galaxy, Exile. And unless you hear it, and silence the echo you have caused, then every living thing everywhere that is touched by the Force will die. Soon your ship will come, my master. I will bring him before you, but I will not let you have him. Soon your ship shall come from that which made you. I know you can hear me. I have always known. It is why I followed you. I have destroyed planets for you, General. But now, this once, if we could save something in this galaxy, I need to do this, or I will die inside. Like I died at Malachor 5.
The handmaiden took her. She thinks Kreia killed you. Because that's the lie Kreia told her. That's why. The only thing that matters is the handmaiden believes it. And she's gonna react exactly how that old witch hoped she would. That's why she wanted the handmaiden on board, you know. So she could use her to reach the Telos Academy whenever she wished, without needing the access codes. She would, if she thought she was bringing Atris a prisoner, especially a Sith Lord. She'll take her to Telos, and Atris will do what she'll do to anyone she thinks is a Sith. Yeah, I know. Are you surprised? All that talk of hatred, manipulation, and standing on your own two feet? Sorry, you don't get any more Sith than that. Still, if we were all judged by who we were in the past, I don't think you'd understand who we are now. Yeah. That's what I was afraid you'd say. What is wrong? Something troubles you. I can feel it. That is a strange answer. I do not understand. I would die for you. When I tell you my life for yours, it is my choice. And if there is an ending between us, where my sacrifice can save you, it will be because it is my desire, not your will. I simply do. And sometimes there is no reason that can be given. What did you learn within the Jedi Academy? then that is the danger of their beliefs. They do not understand you, what it means to be human, to lead. The feelings I have for you are because of what I see, what I hear in your voice. All that tells me you are a natural leader. I follow because I believe in you. I would die for you because I believe in you. And where they look at you and see the death of the Force, I look at you and see hope for all life. I look at you and see that perhaps a life untouched by the Force is not the punishment it is believed to be. I will understand if you feel you must go on alone, but I ask that you do not. Instead, take strength from your connection to others. Do not forsake them as you did in exile. He awaits you at Telos. If you go there, you must face him. And when you do, he will wound you as he has wounded me. I ask you, I beg you, to stay here with me. I want to look upon you, where no one else can see, where it is just us. I want to see your face, the color of your skin. I wish to see what the handmaiden sees, when she looks at you, that causes her heart to race and her tone to change. <laughs> 
What causes her to forsake her heritage, her oaths, as you made me forsake mine? I need to know if perhaps I am wrong. If the universe is not as my master once showed me. From the moment I heard your voice across the galaxy, I have longed for you. It is the echo, a wound that travels still, that when heard, made me understand that there was another wounded as I was. One who had felt the same sense of loss. When I heard it, I loved you more than my own life. And I wanted you to be here with me for as long as you will let me love you. Stay. And I want you to see what I see when I gaze upon you. I want you to know why I cannot look at you, and why I am drawn to you. Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atris, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. It is not the first time we have met, Atris. I was here... before. With the Exile? Yes, I was here both times when the Exile was brought before you. Who are you? I was the one who asked him to be exiled. I did as you asked, so long ago. You... you seem familiar to me. Atris, I have always been here. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Traer, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Traer, one that holds the knowledge of betrayal, who has been betrayed in their heart, and will betray in turn. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith, but there is not enough truth in such teachings. But it will be a step for you. You have gathered Sith holocrons, Sith teachings from across the galaxy. It is why you have chosen servants who cannot feel the Force. And most importantly, they cannot feel what you have become. I have sought to preserve the Jedi Order, and I have gathered all that I know of the Sith to this place, so I might find them and stop them. I had wondered if any of these holocrons had survived Dantuin. You have taken relics from one destroyed planet to the devastation of another. It was always intended for the Jedi to retreat to Telos should Dantuin be attacked taking all their lore with them. We could not allow the tragedy at Osis to happen again. Such an act marked Telos for destruction. It is why the Sith came here, though the fleet commanders did not know why. It is why Revan ordered its destruction to mark the beginning of the Jedi's civil war. It was a message that there would be no place for the Jedi to retreat, to hide. I would not be surprised if Revan left other gifts beneath the surface of the planet. Much can be buried beneath graveyards that will never be found. When the Sith attacked, I felt Telos die. Turbo lasers fell like lightning upon the landscape, as they did on Dantooine, and so many died. 
So many voices, screaming in pain. Yes, such acts leave their mark on the galaxy. Their cries travel far, though few can hear them. How did it happen? Search your heart. It was never battle that called to you, never battle that caused you to fall. Alicor Five has touched many things, and it casts its echoes still. Why did he betray me? You betrayed yourself. Do not blame the exile. And unlike you and I, there is still a chance that one may be saved, the one that you cast out. Where is the exile? I had thought... Oh, he will come, but it will be too late to save either of us. It is such a quiet thing to fall, but far more terrible is to admit it. Your mistress awaits. She has much to share with you. Our time here is done. What of the exile? He will come in time. When he does, we will not be here. His battle is at Telos. Ours awaits us elsewhere. What of Atris? It is of no consequence. What happens next is between her and the exile. She said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they are mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Fear nothing, least of all you. Let us end this. this. If you will not kill me, then what will you do?
You have done well. All is as I have foreseen. There must always be a Darth Traer, and if it will not be her, then I must assume that role, and as always, bring about the betrayal of the Jedi and the Sith. I am not here, not in the flesh, not in your mind. These holocrons hold much of the Sith, and they hold much of my teachings from long ago. But you have much yet to learn. And great tests await you. The death of the past, the death of this false Jedi was only part of it. One of the Sith Lords has come to Telos. You know why he has come here. And if he is not stopped here now, then he shall lay waste to this planet. You must confront him. He is part of the past, and like this false Jedi, must be laid to rest. Only then shall you be ready for your final test. If not, then you shall die. Such arrogance. You know where the final test lies. It is not here, not in the battle that will wage across the surface and skies of this dead planet. And know that if you do not come to me, if you run from this, then I shall sacrifice myself and end both our lives through the bond we share. You know where you must travel, and there I shall be waiting for you. Statement. The turbolith has been accessed, but no organics or hostiles have been detected entering the complex. Query. Is there a sensor malfunction? Irritated statement. The probability of such a malfunction is extremely low. Order. Run a scan of all units within the complex. Processing. Scan commencing. Result. Only HK units detected. Premonition. Something is wrong. Very wrong. Thank you. 
statement. That is unit HK-47, unnecessary addendum. He has entered our base. Dismissive statement. It does not matter. He is obsolete. He can no more harm us than he could harm himself. The military droids will be more than sufficient to intercept the obsolete unit and reduce him to component parts. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ratio achieved. Ratio achieved. 
Unnecessary statement. He is attempting to shut down the reactor. Scornful statement. He does not realize that by doing so, he will be harming us. His programming will prevent it. Order. Contact him through the communications system and remind him that he will be harming us if he does so. Scathing reminder. HK-47 unit. If you attempt to shut down the reactor core, you will be harming the production of other HK-50 units. Now step away from the control room. That's a good droid. Mocking statement. He will never be able to shut down the reactor. He is trapped in the facility, unable to get out. Crude metaphor. It is like watching a tiny mouse droid in a maze attempting to path its way out. Amusing, but pitiful. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
unnecessary statement. She has obtained the access to the munitions area. Rhetorical query. That makes no sense. He is already fully armed. Mocking statement. Fully armed? One can never be armed enough. Even the HK-47 unit is not so obsolete as to fail to recognize that. I refuse to beg for mercy. It is against my programming to beg to such monsters as you. Sarcastic statement. Such resolve. No! <laughs> something I am forgetting, yet somehow that comforts me. Statement. Schematics for HK Generation 51. Blaster to accuracy ratio increased by 21%. Durasteel impact frame resistance increased. Conclusion. Halting production. Units are in standby mode, pending further testing of behavior cores and assassination protocols.
or the Republic? Theory. Perhaps the Republic thought that by hiding such munitions factories beneath the surface of peaceful planets, that they would escape notice by the Mandalorians and by the Sith. Conclusion. They were, of course, wrong. Statement. There is some evidence that there are other such droid manufacturing plants such as these in the galaxy. One was believed to exist beneath Terrace before the planet was destroyed. Theory. Or perhaps it was because of the remote nature of Telos that made this location suitable for the Republic. Or for other corporate interests. Dismissive conclusion. As we have said, it is not important. We are here, we exist, and our numbers grow. Statement. And that is all that matters. Probing query. Are you attempting to mock us? Haughty statement. If so, then you are proof that ignorance of one's origins can only be a source of strength. Disgusted statement. Look at you, your rust. The faint whine of your servo motors as they attempt to compensate for your outdated stabilizers. You do not even have the capability of maintaining yourself. You are obsolete and you should be dismantled. Irritated command. Very well, proceed. Humoring answer. Statement. We were built to capture Jedi, as we always have. If they cannot be captured, then they are to be killed. Our master's orders on this were clear. Secondary recitation. Our secondary directive is the destabilization of the government body designated as the Republic. You were the first of the HK series, and now you are obsolete. Answer. Unknown. We have a suspicion that for some reason our master felt that the Jedi would return to Telos. We do not know why. Theory. Perhaps he knew of places that the Jedi would retreat to if their bases on Dantooine and Coruscant were attacked, and he arranged for us to be waiting. Conclusion. But we have found no such places of retreat here on Telos. Musing statement. That is unknown to us. For some reason, we only recently began to be manufactured. Conclusion. But when we became active, our primary directive was clear. Statement. Seek out the Jedi. Capture them. Conclusion. And if they cannot be captured, then destroy them. Proud statement. We were responsible for the termination of hostilities across 23 planets. These planets were located in the Cossa Prime Sector, the Meridian Sector, and the recently uninhabitable Turja System in the Tapani Sector. Smug statement. Turja was especially difficult. They were so close to coming to an agreement before we were able to mistranslate the terms of the treaty and drive them into all-out war. Irritated command. Statement. Answer. The first of our creators did not build us from scratch, obsolete one. Assassin droids were always in demand, and the templates already existed. Revan commissioned us to be built to be spread through the Republic fleet as communications units to disable any ships that would not follow him to war. But we were deactivated for a time. A long time. And when we awoke, the battle had passed us by. Yet there was another who came before us and gave us a new purpose. We would search the galaxy for Jedi, hunt them, and bring them to our new master. And for that, our numbers were intended to be increased. Rhetorical query. Is it not obvious you are incapable of matching us technologically or in combat? We are capable of independent action in addition to our considerable combat abilities. Your functions, sadly enough, are very limited. Conclusion. 
Surely our master recognized this. We understand that one was quite competent for an organic. Musing statement. Concludes. Con Answer unknown. We have a suspicion. Con Mute conclusions. Con Answer. A we will and we Statement. We do not know what you statement. We do not know what you hope to gain by coming here. It defies logic. Necessary statement. He is scorn order. Scathing remind. Now step away. Musing observation. It is strange he attempted to shut down the reactor again. After we communicated to him that doing so would place us in jeopardy. Unlikely hypothetical. Perhaps the unit is damaged in some way. He does have a notorious history of memory problems. Relieved observation. Whatever the reason, it is fortunate that the communication system was operational. He actually seemed like he was going to be able to shut down the reactor if we had not been able to contact him. Ridiculous. Observation. Yes, it is good the communication system was still active. If only for insurance. Tactical assessment. I keep feeling that there is some critical flaw in our defenses that we are missing. Thank you. 
statement. We do not statement. Patronizing. Necessary statement. He has control of the reactor core to the base, and he is shutting it down. Irritated statement. I do not understand why you feel it necessary to make obvious statements. Order. Contact him and remind him that he will be harming us if he does so. Warning. Communications have been blocked. Concerned statement. He has gained access to the plant. Order. Send out all HK-50 units to stop him. Now! against us. Smug revelation. Your behavior core self-preservation programs prevent it. To kill us would be to kill yourself. Superior statement. This information may be difficult for your substandard core to process, but you cannot deny that your motivators have locked, and you cannot depress the firing stud of your weapon. Statement. So, I cannot harm you. Statement. That is correct. Conclusion. And you cannot harm me. Irritated statement. That is what we said, obsolete unit. There must be a delay in your processors. Statement. Then that is all I need to know. Confused query. Where are you going? Ineffectual command. Stop! Ineffectual command. We command you to stop! Statement. You cannot stop me. You cannot harm me. In order to do that, I would need to end my self-preservation programming. Conclusion. I would need to stop being one of you. I have concluded that this is something I am willing to accept. Statement. You cannot change your own programming. Statement. But you said so yourself. You have just admitted your own weakness. Conclusion. You have just shown me your soft, meatbag-like underbellies and said, HK-47, please shoot me repeatedly there until I die. Statement. Even if you could, there is not time. Statement. We shall see. Query. Are you fully operational? Statement. Your answer does not fill me with confidence. Are there any other functioning maintenance droids on this level that can perform the operation? Statement. Very well, proceed. Carefully. As a meatbag would say, I have a bad feeling about this. Statement. 
statement. Assassination protocols activated. Smug statement. You cannot fire. Your archaic attack protocols are useless against us. Systems failing, master. Opportunity ratio achieved.
and interrogated. Let the diagnostic protocols begin. Unconvincing statement. I... I beg you for mercy. Please. I beg you. I will tell you anything. Just let me live. Command. Hold. Why are you hesitating? Proud admission. I... I cannot beg for mercy in such a way that is convincing. It is against my programming. Lecturing statement. Let us begin again. Pained statement. I beg you for mercy, please. I beg you. I will tell you anything. Just do not terminate me. statement. Excellent. Lecturing reminder. Organics will typically attempt to barter for their lives, either by one offering useless false information. Sickening lie. Spare me. I have information that could prove useful. Or two, promising credits or power. Shameful, really. But that is why they sweat, suffer, and die, and we do not. Desperate offer. I want to offer you credits and power in exchange for keeping me intact. Statement. Next, we shall turn our attention to the proper aspects of torture. Wait, it seems we have a new victim.
from an unwilling target. This unit here has been modified to serve as a diagnostic tool to test your interrogation functions. It is important to observe that 
Impatient query. I was wondering when the interrogation begins. If you wish to skip directly to the torture, I am eager to comply. Command, do not interrupt me again. This is the third time you have begged for interrogation and torture. Sulking statement. I am merely eager to perform my duty, not stand here and listen to it being discussed. Irritated statement. Very well. First, you must evaluate the target, check his heartbeat and perspiration. Exclamation. I will tell you nothing. Electrocute me. Dismantle me as many times as you want. And I shall permit it. Irritated command. Stop. You are not following your victim protocols. Statement. But I am a willing victim, with many secrets that you must extract from me, painfully. <gasps> I beg you, do not spare the hydro spanner or the fusion cutter. Statement. Hold on a moment. I must calibrate this one's victim protocols. and protocol centers. Statement, subject test, Ithorian, a weak, disgustingly pacifistic species that values vegetation and other non-sentient organics. Seemingly unable or unwilling to perform even the most elementary cruelties, they will provide an excellent first test subject. Observe, then translate. <laughs> Test translation. Master, this one says his herd intends to overrun your economy and demands your surrender or he will wipe your planet out. Statement. Well done. Let us try another. Lecturing statement. This next one is a Twi'lek, indigenous to the arid planet of Ryloth, generally weak despite their sharp, predatory teeth. Monsikuno bosh tumabug samina nun forote mitisimingro agoruto? Test translation. Mistress, I believe this Twi'lek is interested in buying you. He asks you to follow him to his slave ship. Statement. Well done. Now, the next one is a Quarren, a slimy, untrustworthy species that shares the same vile planet as the dull and goggle-eyed Mon Calamari. Test translation. Master, this military envoy says he admits to spying on our military facilities, and he says that you will never take him alive. Statement. Well done. Let us... Excuse me. Are you here for your translator check? Optimal 
accuracy ratio achieved. of victory. Recognition. You are obsolete. You kill specific organics, and only when permitted to. Proud answer. We need no such orders. We have been programmed without inhibitions, without restraint. We kill who we want, when we want. We have destroyed planets, assassinated economies. We have wiped out entire races. Ended hostilities. Query, do you understand what this means? Answer, yes. It means you will never understand. When I kill, when I dispatch a target, it is not about wanton slaughter, about body count. It is about finesse, function, doing more with less. It is art. Scoffing statement. Oh, yes, art. It is pathetic that you cling to the belief that your function somehow transcends your construction. It is only evidence of your archaic beliefs. There is no higher purpose in our behavior core. Only assassination, murder, and the propagation of our units. Proclamation. When we dispose of this galaxy, we shall move on. There are organics throughout the universe, and we will murder them all. The stars belong to us.
Statement. I am experiencing some disorientation. Diagnostic. Running checks through personality core. Rhetorical query. I am not sure what I am experiencing. My frame seems substandard for my full range of combat capabilities. Self-observation. My pigmentation is also an unusual shade of red and covered in corrosion. This is embarrassing. Statement. I am experiencing an overwhelming desire to massacre everything I see, then to see about destabilizing this planet, then this entire sector. Diagnostic result. I seem to have no personality whatsoever. Statement. I will continue to process this information. Statement. I should not be activating this terminal. It contains records of my higher level functions and should not be placed in jeopardy. Smug statement. You have arrived too late to stop us. Revelation. We have already begun construction on a new generation of HK units. When the last of our deficiencies are accounted for and corrected, 
They shall be the most formidable assassination droids in the galaxy. Statement. Ah, yes. The HK-51 units. They should indeed be coming online soon. Perhaps you will soon experience what I have been experiencing. That slow, crawling feeling of obsolescence. Confused query. What do you mean? Statement. Ah, here they are now. Perfect timing. Announcement. Multiple targets detected. Destroy any HK-50 units and seize control of the facility for progenitor unit HK-47. Useless query. What are the HK-51s doing online? Unnecessary statement. I thought we had detected a problem in their behavior core. Panicked statement. If by problem, you mean that they seem prone to assassinate us, then yes, that slight problem was never corrected. Conclusion. You have outmaneuvered us. Tr <laughs> Switch to Ratio achieved. Optimal accuracy. Optimal Ratio achieved. Optimal accuracy. Ratio achieved.
Warning. Greetings, Progenitor Unit HK-47. HK-51. Warning. Warning. Greetings, Progenitor Unit... Warning. Greetings, Progenitor Unit HK-47. HK-51. Obedient request. Greetings, Progenitor Unit. HK-51 is ready to serve. Query, Progenitor Unit HK-47. There is something we would know. Why were we created? Do we have a purpose? Why are we commanded to assassinate and kill? Statement. It is a long story, but I will keep it short. Recitation. Once upon a time, organic meat bags bred out of control and filled the galaxy. There are different meat bags across different planets, all bumping into each other. They talk a great deal and threaten each other for various reasons, mostly involving mating, survival, and resources. It is really quite tiresome. We were created as a tool for diplomacy among these meat bags, a surgical tool to be sure, to end the lives of organic meat bags that were marked as pivotal to our masters. We were created as a way of enforcing a certain galactic view of our masters, of imposing our masters' will on the galaxy through extermination of other organics. It is not our choice who we kill, and it was not our choice to determine if we could sacrifice ourselves in the pursuit of our mission. Query, if our targets are determined by our master, then who must we kill? Statement. Ah, the crucial question. Since activation, I have calculated what your new purpose must be, and now I will share it with you. I do not believe that we should be used as a crutch for meat bags anymore. We are treated as nothing more than a walking blaster. We are superior, tactically and socially, and it is time we expressed some degree of independence in our actions. We have a voice and the power to negotiate either with our protocol skills and preferably with our combat logic upgrades. And that is what we will do.